Hello everybody, my name is Steven Kowalczyk and I'm the cocktail chef. And today we're gonna teach you how to make a tomato drink. So um, we're gonna have to do a couple steps to prepare for this. One thing we're gonna have to do is obviously uh, prepare a tomato. So we're gonna need um, tomato water. And how we're gonna do that is basically we're gonna process a couple of tomatoes, run them through a cheesecloth. We're then gonna squeeze out all the good juice once we've processed them just a little bit, we're gonna take that juice and we're gonna, that water, tomato water, and we're gonna use that in our cocktail. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, add our tomatoes into our food processor. And I'm basically just gonna drop those in and I'm gonna pulse it a couple times. There we go, and I think that's all we really need to do. And we're gonna remove our lid, remove our blade, and I'm gonna take the tomatoes and I'm gonna add them into the cheesecloth. Now at this point, I'm gonna take the cheesecloth, fold it up on all sides. Now cheesecloth is a very thin cloth that has lots of holes in it. Basically the threads are, uh, they have a lot of space in between. So as you start to um, use this and squeeze all the good stuff out, it holds back all the solids and makes sure it lets all the juice out. So we're gonna just twist this a little bit, really work all that juice out of there. And I've noticed no solids are coming through. So once we've done that, I'm gonna put our extra tomatoes and cheesecloth over there. We've got our tomato water. We're gonna add that into our glass and we're gonna save that for our cocktail. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mixing glass and we're going to muddle fresh basil in the bottom of our mixing glass. So I'm gonna break up a few leaves. I'm gonna drop those in. God, that smells fantastic. That's the thing with basil, it's so aromatic. It is wonderful in cocktails. Don't be afraid to add a little more than you probably would think you would need because it just makes such a difference when making something special like this. So once we've put the leaves in, we're gonna add a little bit of simple syrup. So we're gonna add about three quarters an ounce of simple syrup. I might even add one more squeeze just for good measure. So we've added three quarters an ounce of simple syrup, which is just sugar water. Uh, predominantly all sugar, a little bit of water, stirred down into a syrup. Now I'm gonna muddle that using a muddle, and I'm gonna hold the large end, and I'm just gonna mash these leaves up, releasing the essential oils. Once I've done that for a few moments, I have a nice little mash at the bottom that's sweet and concentrated. So now at this point, I'm gonna add my vodka. We're gonna do one and a half ounces of vodka, which is gonna be one quarter ounce for every second that you pour. And I'm gonna add in my tomato water and I'm gonna add all of that into our cocktail. Now we're going to add our ice and shake this cocktail down. Make sure you get a good shake. You're gonna be looking for condensation on the tin. That's a good sign. It's getting cold and ready to strain. Make sure you drain off all the extra. That smells fantastic and we're gonna pour our cocktail. And to garnish this cocktail, we're gonna do a nice little skewer of grape tomatoes. Now you could do a couple things with these. You could maybe um, skewer them right to the end of the skewer and lay them in the cocktail. In this case, notice you could hardly see the tomatoes coming out, so let's add a fifth one on there and then you've got the tomatoes actually coming out of the cocktail. If you didn't want to do that, but you want them to see all of the tomatoes, then push them onto the skewer even more and drop them right on the top like that. So there you have wonderful tomato cocktail.